Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne. We are going to play as Scales here. Let's just jump on in. I do apologise, by the way, that there wasn't an episode. I see you there, Invisible Boy. Uh, there wasn't an episode, um, like, last weekend, was it? Um, as, as I said, I'm not I'm not trying to, like, outright phase out, um, phase out Nuclear Throne, but I am looking to sort of play... Oh, God, damn that. That was an armor hit there. To play some other games here and there, and so I decided to do that. And oh, I'm not even quite level two. Um, yeah, one minute. My PC is making a horrible noise right now. Right, I don't, I don't know quite what that was about, but like, <laughs> my PC just started making a terrible, terrible noise. Okay, we're good. Right, but yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not trying to phase out um, Nuclear Throne completely. I still want it to be a, a staple of the channel because I know a lot of people really like it. But, yeah, I was just looking to experiment with some other games. We might see some weekends where we don't play Nuclear Throne and we instead play something else. I mean, I've just recently started Dead Cells. Most of you will have seen that. Um, is this the character that can fly? I can't remember. I don't think it is, is it? I think the next one's the one that can fly. Ooh, hello. Um, counting a lethal hit boosts strike armor and fills armor. Hmm, okay. Um, let's give that a go. Try and play into this counter mechanic a little more. I think if we uh, if we're about to get hit, we can right click there to do a counter attack. It's a little jank, a little, little weird, but parrying is uh, oh my god, a core mechanic in a few games, and I'm not opposed to it. I am going to die. There is. So much going on right now. What on earth? Just chill out, game. Leave me be. But I have to say, I am a big fan right now of this guy's starter. There's an invisible guy. Okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to get back into it. I, I will I will just quickly emphasize the fact that I am um, waking up in just a little bit of a frazzled mindset because... I was out drinking last night, and so I'm, like, basically only just awake. <laughs> Not exactly the best look for a recording video, but I was like, you know what? Like, what's a, what's a better hangover cure than playing some games and chatting shit? People are throwing to perfect... Oh, my lord, sir. That guy jumped right on my booty. Yeah, what's a better hangover cure than, than, than this? Okay. That was a bit risky bisky, but I made it out of there alive. Ooh, I would like to go with that and Herming. I don't know if it'll work with this pistol. I'm gonna say it won't. Yeah, it sadly does not. But, we can play... It's annoying that it also doesn't work with the merged weapons as well, because we have two weapons that it should work with, but neither it actually does work with. We'll try and, uh, we'll try and make this work. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let me go and get that ammo chest real quick. Kind of a shame that we don't have an explosive weapon right here available to destroy that. That'd be really, really convenient. But let's keep heading down this way. The rats are getting one shot by this weapon, so we're doing a really good job right now. I say that and immediately uh, get walk into an enemy. My god, these rats. Oh. I, I, I'm wondering um, what's next in the modding scene for uh, for Nuclear Throne. I know there's a few few of you viewers out there that are either modders for Nuclear Throne. How did I dodge them? Um, that, that are either modders for Nuclear Throne or you're like at least somewhat in tune with what's going on in the modding community. So if any of you know like what I should be looking out for next, or if there's an update to any mod that I could be uh, picking up, do let me know. Cause I'll give it I'll give it a go. Ooh, Sonic Launcher's... Sonic Launcher's pretty good. I'll take a Sonic Launcher. I think the Sonic weapons are pretty interesting. Um, and I think with double vision, you get even more interesting. Right. Yeah, you, you move your booty. You scoot your boot. Boom. Yeah, there you go. It, like, it, like, stores up energy and blasts them into walls. It's really cool. Boom. It's like this crazy sort of knockback. It's kind of dangerous for various reasons, as you can probably tell, but it kind of works. Slugger. Oh, I'm really hoping we get a bullet weapon soon here. Look at that. Oh, it is just like mesmerizing to see um, enemies just get flung into walls. It's 
kind of quite entertaining. Do you want to calm down, boy? And also, it's nice that we can't hurt ourselves with this. Oh, ammo. Why do you leave me? Um... Moving faster slows enemies. Let's give that a go as well. Just plug it all in. Okay, it doesn't quite kill some of the bigger enemies here, but honestly, this armor mechanic is doing a great job for us right now. I think once we get a... When we get a double vision shot, it kind of slaps. And it does seem to be destroying shots here and there as well, which is nice. Oh my god. I kind of found, found that funny how the flame just kept going. Dude, this... That assassin was just getting away with murder right there. Oh my lord. Let's maybe try and, um... Try and... Okay, we're running out of ammo. Fill up, uh... What's it called? I see ya. IDPD, boys. Ooh, this is... This is a little dangerous here. Okay, actually, we just got a ton of health from those guys, so... What? Um... I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. Did that guy just one-shot me? I had the armor... I, like, I had the protective armor, and I also had, um, I also had the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> like, I had, I had full health in that counter-attack thing, and it just absolutely one-blapped me. That was a little rude. Okay. Well, I picked up a crossbow rather than this guy's starter, which I have to admit is not a great idea. I'm not going to be using the, um, what's it called? The, uh... The missing link today, just because we've been using it a lot in pr prior episodes. I don't want to make it so that every single episode is just me using that. Ooh, Assault Shaker. Hell yes. That is the sort of stuff we like to see. Okay, we'll take this Fire Poker just to get rid of the small boys. Ooh, hello. Ow. Oh god, the Fire Poker's pretty bad though. Okay, Laser Pistol's a little, little more our style, a little more our speed. My lord. Okay, there's a good amount of level ups though. Now, all, all I wish is that we can get some stuff that goes along with this. Uh, turtle shell. Unfortunately, some more generic um, mutations there. Nothing that really goes very well with anything we have. I suppose I could have gone with the energy weapon thing and uh, boosted this laser up a little bit. You never know what might work. There's, I just like the fact that in this game now, especially with all the mods that we've got, there's just so much build variety. That's that's one thing I feel like the vanilla game really kind of missed the trick with, or at least in my opinion. Um, oh, we might die here. I'm in a really bad spot. Um, the vanilla game kind of missed the trick with a little bit. I think that there just wasn't enough, like, build variety in the uh, mutations available to you from the get-go. Like, there's no, there's no unlockable mutations, which is kind of a good thing, but also I feel like the game's really missing a sense of progression. So having like unlockable mutations, like having all the ones that are already in the game as of base would be great. But then on top of that, I really think there should be like at least one unlockable one per character. Just to kind of add a little more build variety, a bit more sense of progression. And I think as well, it's just one of those, you know, we'll take the Arby's pistol. Um, it's just one of those things as well where um, like, I, I feel like the late game, I mean, Nuclear Throne's kind of got this weird thing, really. It's kind of like um, Undermine, actually. Ooh, flowering is pretty good. Scary of is better, though. Um, it's kind of like Undermine, actually, where they added this kind of... Um, they added a scaling difficulty thing just as a sort of, like, a band-aid to kind of... As something else to do once you've beaten the game. Um, you have these, uh, like, sort of ascension levels, and they didn't really intend for them to be a big core feature. Um... And then people really liked trying to climb the uh, the ranks in them. It just made the game harder with each one. Yeah, people got like really into like climbing the ranks with them and stuff. And yeah, it ended up being quite a big core part of the game. And I feel like that same thing kind of very much goes for um, it very much goes for this game as well. Well, the the looping aspect. I, I imagine it wasn't really their intention for looping to be like a big part of the gameplay loop of the game like it was just like an added extra i mean you can tell that it's definitely like more of a, i wouldn't say an afterthought but less less of a core part of the game because like once you get past loop two it gets well even in loop two it gets heckin ridiculous uh, to the point where like the game is barely playable unless you have very specific builds so it, it's kind of funny to to me that like 
the the way the builds work is centered so much around that or it feels like they are at least when really considering it's not a very core part of the game they shouldn't be like ooh, there you go energized bolts is always nice what is going on down there i can hear us i can hear a saw blade or something going off somewhere Good. Oh my god, that was like a multi-strike that. Okay, good. I'm missing out on all these rads at the minute here. Yeah, what what went down over here? Something went down. Ah, oh, that was it. There was like a massive explosion there. I kinda wanted to go through the um get like a curse mutator or something, but we'll we'll live with what we've got. Excuse me, Sawblood. Could you mind out, please? Right. Back we go. Nice. God damn, there's so many enemies on the stage. What the hell's going on? The Magnum. Hello. Oh, ho, 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 this thing. This thing's got some beef to it. Holy hell. I like this. This is a weapon I can get behind. My lord. Um. Hmm. Train your energy weapons. Uh, I don't really know, actually. Let's go with camouflage. Camouflage is always fun. Being able to kind of chill out a little bit when you first enter a stage. I mean, it's not even when you first enter a stage. It's when you first get near enemies, I suppose. I always, I, I do always like that with games, though, where, um, incidentally, features that the devs add that they probably thought wasn't really that big of a deal become, like, fan favorite things. I really like that. Oh my god. This is kind of tricky. Okay, that, that actually ended up working out just fine for us here. Um, toxic shotgun. That seems like a terrible idea. Oh god, it is. Oh god, it so is. <laughs> Not something you should ever use at all. Right. We do need a better crossbow right now. The, the crossbow with the electricity, it's doing fine, but it's not the best. It's got limitations. I'm getting good rads though. Good rads. I'm just trying to fire sort of next to everything to get the electricity popping off. Nice. I should avoid all of that. But to be fair, we do have Scarier Face, which is making things a hell of a lot easier for us right now. In general. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay. I think Cheek Pouches is pretty good. We'll take that. That can, that can lead to some, like, infinite ammo situations and stuff, which is always nice. I think this for, like, destroying cars and stuff is going to be good. We're at level 8 now as well. Oh, God. Oh, oh my Lord. That was a bit... A rocklet rifle. That was a bit much, guys. That was a bit much. Okay, let's, let's be careful here. The armor hits are saving us a little bit, but... I'm not really playing this to the best of my ability. You need to calm down, sir. Oh, my God. There's a lot of these dudes in here. What the hell? Okay, need some need some healing. Healing would be good. Right, let's get some electricity going on here. There's some health. Okay, that car didn't blow up then. That kind of scares me a little bit. Whenever a car gets left, I'm like, oh god. Oh lord. Fucking let's get in there, Bolt. There you go. Get in there. Is that it? Don't even know what weapon we got out of that then. Um, Probably higher max ammo right now would fit us quite well. It's definitely some sort of toxic thing. That's the gas lighter. Gas lighter can be pretty good, but I feel like um, in this situation it's not the best. Ooh, what do we get there? The party minigun. Okay, this is good, but it's a lag factory. I would not like to take part in a lag factory, thank you. Okay, this is kind of an odd one. 
There's a lot going on down there. We have some uh, extra drops. I don't really care about you. I'm just going to ignore the fact that you exist. Okay. We're in the clear. Right. Let's actually go for some curse, shall we? It's been a little while. What the hell's this? Oh, the Infinite Pistol. We don't need that. Right. Let's go for the curse, shall we? Crown of Curses could be fun. We got two mutes left, so getting some curse mutes in there too could be nice. Yeah, when I first heard about the curse mutes, I was a bit iffy about them. I thought they were going to be quite bad, but they're actually really good. Oh, no. We might die, though. Because we've got the dog that I do not know how to fight at all. He's trying his hardest to get, like, in here. Okay, we actually did a great job of killing him there. We need some ammo now, though. We got ourselves a crystal cannon. Whoa, that's not what I expected at all. Oh, the IDPD grenade launcher. We gotta take that. It's so very good. And then what's this? Uh, the buzzsaw. The razor pop. Mm, okay, interesting. That's piercing. Bit of unlimited ammo for this bad boy for now. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I think this with a double shot would be really good. So it'd be nice if we could grab that again. Good, good. Okay. No curse mutator is available to us. That's kind of a shame. Um, I think we'll just go with magazine fingers here. Keep our ammo high. Right. This is a bit spicy. What the hell? What the hell's this? Is that a laser minigun right there? It might well be. What on earth is going on right now? We got a sniper shotgun, which sounds pretty awesome, and a golden laser minigun, and a quartz launcher. The sniper shotgun. What on earth? Okay, this, this thing won't even let me fire. I think this is good, but it just doesn't really... Oh, damn. I, don't, I, th I, think, it, I think this would be too slow, right? I I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. It feels like it's going to be a bit too slow, to be honest. But that did a lot of damage. And I can respect that. A rapier? Oh my god. There is some shit going down right now. Who's reviving all these bitches? Oh, there's multiple of you over here. I see. I see how it is. Oh my god, these enemies are so hard to hit with this setup. Fucking die. Oh, I can I can fire it early. Where's our blaster? Mmm, that could be good. Feel like this could be Yeah, this is good. This is good. We'll take this. Alright, what the hell's left? Is it just you? Nope, it is not just you. It is probably just you. Nope. Oh my god. What on earth is remaining? It's another turret. There's just turrets everywhere. My lord. Didn't quite hit our ultra. Okay, this, this thing kind of pops off. I like the way it just like passes through walls and everything as well. Feels so strong. Oh, hello. That is a tank. We haven't tanked it in a little while, I gotta say. But at the same time, I don't even know if I want to. We are 
We're doing good with what we got going on right now. I'll be honest. As you can clearly tell. Forget off. I always forget about the uh, cursed ammo drops. Where the hell did you just go? There you are. Yeah, this is this is a pretty good setup, and we got our ultra, which I'm pretty excited for. We got discharge your held weapon when counter striking. Take even less damage. Counter striking boosts a successful counter strike further reduces cooldown. Sacrifice all reduction to auto counter a lethal hit. Um, score kills to gain back. I think take even less damage is probably a good idea. Right. Oh my lord. This thing just hits so hard. Because it, it like, it does damage multiple times while it's like inside an enemy. But it just kind of pops off. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. This is just the gun I just had, but like so much better. And it is cursed, which is whatever. But with the ammo gains that we're currently getting, I don't think I'm mine. We ain't running out of ammo on this thing anytime soon, so I don't mind. Hello. Because we got crowned a curse as well, we can swap it for another cursed weapon at basically any time. Hello? Would you like to cease to exist, please? Thank you. Right. Through we go. Through we go. Right. Ammo for this bad boy. This thing is gonna wreck house this. Right, let's see what we got. See what we got. Okay, so we do have the rapier, energy sword. The Dust Dropper. Eh. Interesting. I don't know. All of this is kind of trash. <laughs> we didn't really get anything great there. We got the sack, but this sack doesn't do anything. Right. Let's go ahead and, uh, and smack this boss about, shall we? I am excited for this run. This run's just got some good stuff going on. It has some legs, so to say. Right. We should be able to easily loop here. Like, we've got a lot of damage reduction and stuff. Yeah, we do that, and then we do that. <laughs> oh, love it. It's absolutely destroyed. Oh, there's another guy left. Okay, hello. Did not see you for a second there. He did just walk into me and almost insta-kill me, I will say that. There you go. It's fine, though. We're chilling. We good, we good. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that... Okay. This thing's, um... Throw me for a loop here. Sometimes it just does not kill the enemy that it looks like it's going to kill. It's like a mega drill. Super drill launcher. It is indeed. It's pretty good too. Spin hammer. And there's the Mega Disc Launcher there as well. Oh god, I love some of these modded things. They're so dumb and they're so great. <laughs> there's another cop somewhere. Just fire this off in a direction, see what happens. Where are you, cop? Reveal yourself to me. Thank you. Stupid. the Mega Drill Launcher sufficiently does its job. 
Oh my god. That was just an insta pass through there. What the hell's that? We got like a shovel and a tree pruner. What the hell? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell's a tree pruner? Goodbye. No, I don't want to leave yet. Damn it. I've noticed my weapon isn't cursed anymore, by the way. I don't know when that happened. Oh my lord. Busted it wide open. Who knows when I got hit and what by, but something certainly hit me. Or claimed to, at least. This is just getting a bit nutty now, isn't it? Golden Ultra Crossbow. He's got a bunch of dudes on him. Holy shit, it's so hard to focus on what the hell's going on on screen right now, but I am trying. I don't know what this golden ultra crossbow does, by the way. I have it, but I'm not really... Okay, it does pass through walls quite quite nicely. <laughs> that was stupid. I didn't think that'd kill me. Anyhow, we'll leave it off there, shall we? Holy hell, that was a good run. A good welcome back to the game. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy this one. Absolute chaos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.